Hi friends, today we start Katia tutorial series for beginners. In this session, we start introduction of Katia software, file management, and Katia graphical user interface. First we discuss about Katia. Katia is an acronym of Computer Aided Three Dimensional Interactive Application. Katia is a multi-platform software suit for Computer Aided Design, Computer Aided Manufacturing, Computer Aided Engineering, and product life cycle management. Next we discuss about Katia history. First version of Katia 1.0 was released in 1981. It was developed by the French company Dassault Systems. Next topic is file management. First we discuss about how to open a new document. Go to file menu and select new option. Select part from list of type, and click OK button. Next step is save the document. Go to file menu and select save option. Now enter part name. Part file format is shown here. Next step is how to open an existing CATIA document. Go to file menu and select open option. Document preview is shown here, select the file and open it. Now we see some file formats of CATIA. Part. Assembly. And drafting. Next topic is graphical user interface of CATIA. We discuss this one by one. First one is workbench icon. Workbench is a working space with different types of tools. Part design workbench has lot of solid part making tools. If you want to change different workbench go to start menu. Start menu contains lot of workbenches like part design, assembly design, sheet metal design and surface design etc. When we need to use another workbench we can change here. Next one is menu bar. It has lot of drop down tools. We can access tools from here. Also we access from toolbars also. Toolbars are arranged here. Lot of toolbars are arranged vertically and horizontally. This is power input box. Power input is like a command bar. We can search tools from here. This is message bar. It shows the tool tips. This is specification tree. This is very important one to create and modify the models. This tree includes all the design processes, previously completed through your design session such as sketch creation, creating models, cutting, adding and removing features etc. Here we can edit each steps of design process. If you change the dimension the part updates automatically. To hide or show the specification tree press F3 button. Otherwise go to view menu and select specification tree. Next one is plane. Plane is a flat two dimensional surface that extends infinitely far. It is used to create sketch. This one is geometry. And this is compass. It is used to move or rotate the objects to get the best viewing angle.
And final one is view toolbar. It is used to manipulate the views. Next session we will continue the view manipulation.